hubcaps turned into works of art. Their traditional function may be to protect the wheels of a car, but for Ptolemy Elrington, the small discs are perfect for creating sculptures, especially of animals. People think a hubcap is just a hubcap, but actually they're made out of lots of different types of plastic, so they're very versatile. You've got all the different shapes and things to play with. Basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm playing when I'm working. The artist makes adjustments to the hubcaps in his studio. Having studied art and design in the 1980s, he now works for himself as a sculptor. He generally avoids using photographs, sketches or templates as a basis for his work. Instead, he lets himself be guided by the form of the hubcaps themselves. Sometimes I am surprised because it's, there are some elements within the materials that I use that kind of take over and, and, and give it a certain character. And other times I'm surprised at quite how difficult it can be. Sometimes I can spend all day just working on one little thing and never quite getting it right and working it again and again and again. And, and I don't know why I know when it's right, but I just do and then I'm happy. Ptolemy Elrington has been creating art out of hubcaps for 15 years now. Some creations can be completed in a day, others he spends weeks on. The thing about creating, whether you're painting or drawing or making sculpture, um, the, the, the most important thing is to be able to look properly. And it's about um, making your eye and your brain work together properly um, so that you can translate the shapes that you see in your mind into something more physical in front of you. He's created hundreds of sculptures. A single piece fetches an average of 1,000 euros. The price depends on the amount of time invested in the work. Some can cost up to 40,000 euros. I kind of stumbled on that as an idea because I used to live near a bend where they used to collect on the side of the road. And after a while, I started picking them up because um, it just seemed such a waste. The, the council were coming along and collecting them and they were going into landfill. And um, some of them were really beautiful designs. He still scours the streets for material to include in his artworks and continues to collect the hubcaps he finds on the way to his studio in Brighton. His collection is in the hundreds. He orders them according to brand, size, material and shape. He also gets some as gifts from his friends and family. That's a Seat one. That's got some a little bit of bend to it, which is good. But the thing that first would like I'd notice with this would be this oval shape here and this shape here. Because already to me that's looking like a shark's mouth. So if you spin it around, you've got this kind of shape going on. He also incorporates old shopping trolleys and spare car parts into his pieces. Recycling is an integral part of his work. I always try to include some kind of recycling aspect just to try to get that message as part of what I do out there. Um, I think uh, the way that the world is at the moment, I'm never going to run out of raw materials and I certainly don't think I'm going to run out of the drive to make things out of them. So in the future, I'm just going to keep on doing what I like doing. He's currently working on a dinosaur made from old bicycle frames. Ptolemy Elrington is a master of breathing new life into old materials. <laughs>